Thanks. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, great. I could use the thread to tie something to the quill, but what? Thanks. Wrap this around here, tie it, and you have a rather professional looking critter hair brush. Not impressive enough. Something's missing. Eat, drink, and be merry. A great subject. Where did it go? Fascinating. I can't hack off the angel's hands, that's for sure. I prefer to solve the problem my way. Complicated and barely comprehensible. Here, take this. All right. A suitable background for my first masterpiece. Oh, I've been kissed by the muse. 
I'll sketch an outline on the canvas with this piece of charcoal. Now I just need to paint the bottle and the grapes, but not too crudely, or the portrait won't accept them. Ta-da! Done. Hmm, yeah, that's not half bad. Makes your mouth oil paint, doesn't it? Well, at least I can see what it's supposed to be and that it hasn't been eaten at least once before. All right, put the painting back on the easel. I'll take some of it. Enjoy. Now what about that oddly shaped piece of metal? It's in a secret compartment behind a painting in the gallery upstairs. There's hundreds of paintings up there. It's our only many. Are you familiar with his work? Not really. It's from his tragic hilarious period. Huh? The clown. The crying clown. Ah! <laughs> you um, need to tell him the password. Cuddle duddle doing doing. What? Cuddle duddle doing doing. Uh. Cuddle duddle doing doing. <laughs> Say what? The password? Cuddle duddle doing doing? <laughs> you, you, you talked to Alistair, didn't you? <laughs> There is no password, right? Cattle, cattle, dying, dying. <laughs> yes, of course there is. Only you need to dance as well and wear a green hat. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> cattle, cattle. Come on, give me that piece of metal. But of course, Colonel Oink Oink! <laughs> I don't like clowns.
The balcony is too far away to jump up there. Uh, down. Over. But isn't there a ladder in front of the tower outside? This is going to be interesting. Whoa! Three stone tablets arranged one over the other. Hmm. This is it. This must be the Archmage's office. If there's anything in town that can protect us from Munkus's magic, we're bound to find it here. That's all, booklet here. I don't know. Anything that looks valuable and magical, like... That scepter! Ah! That would have been too easy. Hmm, a referee's whistle maybe? Why is it hanging here? Could it have something to do with a guardian plant? <laughs> Sorry. Knitting. Again. I must have missed a trend. The wool is soft and warm, but not very strong. I'll take two balls of yarn. The water boils, turns into steam, then condenses in the tube and drips into the glass vial. Some kind of alchemistic experimental setup I couldn't begin to guess what's being brewed here. If I knew how to operate this, I could gaze at the stars. And if I were interested in the stars, that would make me happy. This book is even thicker than the one I once read. I've never been the bookish type. My motto is learn by doing. But as an archmage, you probably can't get away with that. I'm so clever. All right. Whew. With that thing on its ears, it should have a hard time hearing anything. If I hit its ears, that is. All right. Now I just have to sneak past.
And now for the blossoms. Excellent! I feel so dirty. What about you? Thanks. All right, the blossoms go into the water. Aha! The water that drips into the vial is beginning to take on color. I think that's it. Hmm, huh, smells great. I bet this would sell for a lot in town. Hold still. I want to spray you with blossom extract. <laughs> Stop making a fuss. You'll smell like spring itself. <laughs> Come on. Think of Layla. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Pudo. <sighs> Let's see. It can't hear me now, and I smell like one of its kin. It's now or never. Wah! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Leave me alone! No means no! That was close. Let's have a look at this. I hope this really is magic and I can figure out how to use it. What the? Cool. This should help us a lot. What do you say? Are we good or what? You said it. Back to the Northlands, where they need selfless heroes. <laughs> Wait, we have to plan this business carefully. I took a look at the scepter while we were underway. It looks like the thing can be used to manipulate time. Mm-hmm. Right. You set whether time should be accelerated or slowed down here on the handle, and in which direction. <laughs> well, if time in that weird bubble should run forwards or backwards. Think of the applications. In one fell swoop, cosmetic magic would... <laughs> yeah, of course. Monkus is up first. But afterwards, it will make me richer than the heart ever could have. 